Okay, so um, we're gonna. I'm not using my GoPro. I'm gonna use my phone because uh, I just kind of like want to see how I present my my bike and show you what I like. I just want to see how I you know present myself, present the bike. Um, okay, so we're gonna. I'm. I can't answer all the, a lot of questions because I'd like to be detailed, and I like to be detailed because I don't know. I just I don't like to bullshit people, especially when it comes to buying things. And the the intention here, it's I'm not trying to sell you this bike. I'm trying to. You see, I like money, and if I buy something, I want to make sure as much as I want to be as close as to accurate when it comes to keeping uh, maintenance costs. You know, I want you know durability. I want it to last. You know, I just want to. You know, when it comes to buying bikes or a car, I just I just want to be on top of that. If you know what I'm saying, right? So my intention is not to buy for you to buy this bike. My intention of this video is for you to know what this bike can do and what it can't do. Okay. So if you're if you got your money and you want to put it on a bike, you know what I'm saying? You should be, in my humble opinion, you should be, unless you don't care about money. I mean I care. You should be very, very, you know, subtle with, you know, notice the subtle differences in bike in bikes and notice the subtle differences of how people ride them. Because it's very, it's 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 not as simple as it is. It's not as simple as it as it seems. Okay, so me, I'm I'm a very aggressive rider. Okay, like 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 I beat this baby up a lot. Okay, I'm gonna put links on the video under this video under the description, and you're gonna see what I what I do to the bike. Okay, I go on flat pavement. I go on off on off roading. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a great bike. It, it's the brakes are great that the brakes have worked perfectly they saved my life a lot of times because I get a little reckless and you know I try to get uh, I try to like I seek thrills you know I'm, I'm a thrill seeker when it comes to uh, uh, trail riding um, so with that being said uh, some some people were asking me about um, what the hell someone was asking me what bike did I use before I had a Diamondback Sorento which was a piece of shit but it did get me from place A to place B and it like the the ship the gears were just gone and I, I was only able to use three gears and it was a, I think it was a three by six it just but it, it was durable and it what I should have not used that bike when I was uh, when I was uh, trail riding back in New York I shouldn't have done that because and I noticed that from riding this bike okay I know because this bike is more for trail riding okay that bike, the Diamondback Sorento, had like the, the front suspension was like, I think, what, 60 millimeters? I mean, it, I don't think it was a bike for that, you know what I'm saying? However, I still took the bike out there to, to the trails, and I don't think it was a good idea. I'm glad I didn't get hurt, you know what I'm saying? But I'm glad, I'm just, I, I'm glad I don't have that bike. It was durable, though. With this bike, what I can tell you, someone was asking me, um, Yo, uh, does a bike, is the front suspension, is it bad? Like, well, what is bad to you? I don't, I don't, like, is it bad? For, I don't, from my experience, no, I think it's great. I think if you know how to use the suspension when you're going on, like, on hills or, or like, uh, like, rooty, rooty hills where there's so many roots and stuff like that, you know, you're going to be standing on the bike, right? Or you're going to be leaning back a little bit, right? You're going to... You're gonna be leaning back a little bit and let the let the hundred millimeters of travel in this fork to take the take the the take the the, the hit for you. That way your shoulders don't take a hit. I have I, I remember I, I was hit by a car in 2015. Not in my Diamondback Sorento. I was hit I was hit by a, uh, I think I was using another bike, but uh, the car hit T boned me and it hit it hit me and I went on the hood. And then I rolled out. I rolled back. I rolled back over the bike, and uh, I ended up having like a like a small tear in my sh my right shoulder. So riding with the Diamondback Sorento, like it was like I can notice that. Oh my god! After a, after a while, my shoulders were, were my right shoulder especially was hurting a lot. However, with this bike, it's more. This this is made in my humble opinion. It says it's it says on this fork, right here. It says um. Caution or something not for off-roading. I don't even know who wrote that because I've been using it on off-roading and in hill and hills and all that kind of shit And it's it's great. I mean the fork takes does take the beating it takes a beating for and and, and I like it I like it. I think it's great 
I think it's great. But it's also probably most likely because I'm light. I only weigh about 139 pounds. So you have to be aware of that. Okay, if you're, if you're a little bit more on the heavy side, I don't think it's... And if you're a little bit more of a heavy, on the heavy side and you want to thrill, you're a thrill seeker, you want to go freaking crazy, like freaking, you know, go on, on really crazy hills and, and all that stuff, I don't think this is a good bike for that. Unless you're like skilled to you. Scale also has a has a is a is a contributing component to riding a bike uh, a mountain bike okay that's you know you have to be skillful you have to know where to shift your weight and all that stuff you know someone asked me uh is it good on pavement it's great it's great on pavement i mean i used to i take this bike to my job well now the world closed but we're gonna be opening soon i would ride this bike 9.5 miles to my job and then i would ride 9.5 miles back so it's a total of 20 miles and I would do that like maybe twice, twice a week or three times, most, most three times. So, I mean, it's great for the pavement. However, one little thing you have to be aware of, if you're going to ride on pavement and you're going to make sharp turns, be careful because you're probably going to slip. This bike, I'm sorry, these tires, they're meant for, for like rocky terrain. They're not really made much for like, you know, flat pavement. I mean, I'm, it, they do grip the pavement very well when you're going straight. But if you're gonna make a turn, you're gonna start to lean, lean, lean. You're going a little, you're going, you know, a moderate speed. You have to be careful of this back tire because you might, you're probably gonna slip. And I slipped and I wasn't even going that fast. I wasn't even going that fast. I was going, I don't even know, I was probably doing like, I was like turning around on like on a corner. Just like, and you know, I was like, and I was just cruising and I was leaning on, on, on the right side, just going like that. And like the back tire just like slipped out and I fell on my side. I fell on my right hip. It was all right. I was fine. I got off and just shook it off and I, I just continued riding. But you have to be aware of that. Okay. These tires are more for like, you know, dirt, not muddy terrain, but dirt and uh, for trail, trails, off-road trails. For the pavement, it's great. Just be aware when you're making sharp turns. Try not to lean to the, to the right or to the left side because the back tire will slip. I'm telling you, please. So be careful with that. And um, yeah, does it have a chain stay protector? I don't know. I'm like, I don't even know what a chain stay protector is. I mean, you can tell just by yourself. I mean, when you, when you see my videos that I'm gonna link Put the on the description. This, this the kickstand is the thing that's rattling. Okay, that's what you have to be aware of. And I like the kickstand. I'm not taking that out. So please watch the videos because it, I can't just be telling you, talking to you about the bike. You have to watch the videos of how I'm using this bike. You know how I'm, you know, shifting the gears, using using the brakes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just like taking, you know, giving it a beating when I take it on trails and stuff like that. You have to be. A, Look at it, see for yourself, you know, and then make an assessment of what, what, what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, so far, pretty much, uh, it's with this bike. Can, I don't think it's a good bike for, uh, for like at really advanced trails with like chumps. No, no, don't, don't even bother with that. Don't do that. Um, however, it can take a beating and uh, it can take a, it, it can take, it can take a challenging trail if you're very skilled and if you are. If you've written the trail before and you know where you know what's coming next and you know you then you know how to break you know you know break and then you know shift your weight and you know what to do but just be aware just be aware when you if you really want to buy this bike it's great for commuting great for everything it's a great start mountain starter mountain biking off-roader off-road tr uh, trail riding bike it's a great way to start just be aware. If you're gonna start and t and you're gonna start freaking, you want to go a little crazy. Be aware and be be conscious of that decision because you can you can fuck yourself up. Okay, be careful. Okay, so anyways, um, watch the videos. You have to watch the videos so you can see for yourself. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, um, you know you put them, you leave them under this uh, under the description, and then I'll I'll try to answer as detailed as possible. All right, see you guys later. Oh yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at FlexiLexi8454. I'm going to leave that um, Instagram 
name under in the description below um yeah i got i got i got more bike riding uh videos there too uh, a lot of highlights and stuff like that so make sure you follow there okay